Meet Amelia, a happy-go-lucky lady who has a lot to smile about. The man of her dreams has just proposed to her, and she couldn't be more thrilled. But planning a wedding could not be more stressful. So much to organise. It's just exhausting. All this stress takes its toll, and on the morning of the wedding, disaster strikes. Amelia wakes up to find a large, red, nasty-looking sty on her eye. The wedding photographs will be ruined. What in heaven's name is a sty, in any case? Unfortunately, I can't do much about Amelia's wedding photographs, but I can explain what is happening with her eye. Stay with me now. It's time to explore the eyelids and the conjunctiva. Now, before we start, I already know what you're thinking. A whole video tutorial dedicated to the eyelids? Have we gone mad? Well, believe it or not, despite being one of the smaller and somewhat delicate parts of the body, the eyelids and their thin underlying membrane, the conjunctiva, pack a huge amount of anatomical detail. They also play an extremely important role in the health and general well-being of your eyes. But before we begin all that, let's take a few moments to remind ourselves of the general anatomy of the orbit or eye socket as well as its contents before we look a little deeper. So as you can see, we're looking at a sagittal section of the orbit or eye socket in this illustration. The centre of the orbit is of course dominated by this structure, which most of us would call the eyeball, but in anatomical terminology is also referred to as the ocular bulb, or globe, of the eye. In our section here, we can see the orbit nicely positioned between the orbital roof, which is largely comprised of the orbital process of the frontal bone, and the orbital floor found underneath. We know this is largely composed of the orbital surface of the maxilla and we can even see a portion of the maxillary sinus just here. The ocular bulb sits in a bed of adipose tissue, known as retrobulbar fat. This acts as a protective cushion to the eye, protecting the rather delicate eyeball from bashing off the walls of the orbit as we move our heads. Within the retrobulbar fat, we can see a number of structures attaching to the ocular bulb here, the most obvious being the optic nerve which relays visual information from the retina to the occipital lobe of the brain. We can also see a number of the extraocular muscles which control eye movement. These include the superior rectus muscle, which helps us look up, the inferior rectus muscle, which draws our eyes down, like when we look at our phones, this video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.